Hello and welcome to the Expertly German podcast, the podcast to learn German. Yes, exactly. Wer, wie, wo, was, warum? What are all the questions, all the words that I just said? The German question words, die deutschen Fragewörter. So that's today's topic and let's jump right in. I say the word in German and you have to tell me what it means in English. Quick was? Fire. What? Warum? Why? Wann? When? Ja. Wer? Who? Oh, yes, exactly. That one is difficult sometimes. Wen? Who? Yes. Wie? How? Ja. Wo? Where? Ja. Wohin? Is that like where from? Where to? Oh. Wohin? Yes. Where to? Und woher? Where, where from? from? Yes, exactly. Woher, wohin? wohin? Where to? Woher? Where from? Wie viel? How much? Wie oft? How often? Exactly. Uh -huh. All right. I think there are a couple of a couple more question words, but you know, let's just go with those ones. That's fun. Okay. So now we just play around with those a little bit and just create some I don't question sentences with those. Um, so let's go with the first one, was. Um, how would you say, for example... Was ist das? Yes, exactly. <laughs> was ist das? That is, what is I that? I say this all the time. <laughs> yes, when you kind of point at something and you just ask me, was ist das? Yeah. Was ist das? All the time. Uh, and then the second one is, warum? Well, that alone is helpful. Yes. Warum? Why? Um, Why did you read the book? Why did you not read the book? But why did you not read the book? Well, uh, you just make it more difficult for <laughs> yeah, you. I was so going to say. You can go with it. Uh, warum hast du lesen die Buch? Warum hast du das Buch gelesen? Of course. Perfect. So, yes, but I, so I think what you said is warum du or something like that. I don't know. Just warum make sure you... Lesen? Yeah. Warum hast du das Buch gelesen? Yeah. So the gelesen, you have to put this At also the to the end. Yeah. And the hast, whatever the conjugated verb, still needs to be in the second position. Right? Got it. Okay. Um, then the next one is wann. Um, when do we meet? Wann, mm, wann wir treffen? The conjugated verb wants to be on the second spot. So not wann, wann wir treffen. Wann treffen wir? wir uns? Yes, uns, exactly. And the reason why it's uns, it's because sich treffen in the infinitive is a, uh, is a reflexive verb. And that's why we use wann treffen wir uns. Reflexive verbs is another topic that just keep that in mind. We will go through that at some point. Okay. So and that, that uns, that's, the, that's kind of like the reflexive that you have uh, to put in there. Okay. Um, so the next one is wer. Can you think of one with wer? Wer ist sie? V yeah, where is <laughs> she? Yeah. Who is she? <laughs> no, but yeah, but in in German we would say wer ist sie. Um, uh, yeah. Can you think of other sentences? Wer? Who is coming later? Uh, would you just say wer kommt? Well, no, that wouldn't be right, would it? Wer kommt später? Yes. No. Wer kommt später? You can say that, oder wer wird später kommen, if you yeah, want to use the thinking. future. Okay. Wer wird später kommen? Exactly. Wer ist das? Or wer who's wird... at the door or something like that. Like. Yeah, how would you say that? <laughs> so, hang <like>, down. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I feel like you're better with coming up. I can come up, up better with English sentences, ah, of course. Um, right. But then I'll try and limit them if I have to do the translation. Um, wer ist hier... Uh, at the door. I know der Tour, but like, how do I say at the door? An. So, wer ist an der Tour? Yes, wer ist an der Tür? Exactly. Tür. 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 <laughs> Sounds very <laughs> old English. Who's at the door? <laughs> All wer right. An der Tür. Wer ist an der Tür? Exactly. Then the next one is wen. Whom. Yeah. Do you use that often? Yes. Well, we don't use whom in English very much, you see. So is that used commonly or not whom commonly? Is, uh, whom shows that you used to have cases in the English language as well. It's one of those leftovers that still show that they used to be cases. But it's also a leftover word that we really rarely would yeah. know when to use properly. And Something rarely like, use. with whom do you meet? 
Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Well, is that the same? You don't really use yeah, that. Yeah, well, in this case, it's, it's actually it. Vem. So that's the that's the one with the M, which is mit Vem uh, triffst du dich später. Oder um, wen, uh, wen triffst du später? Like, who did you meet? Whom did you meet later? Wen triffst du später? So that's how, how we would say. The wen is actually one of those question words that when you go to school in Germany as a child, that's the question word that you ask in order to find out the accusative case. Um, but obviously that doesn't work as a non-English native speaker. So naturally I'm always looking for like the get out clauses. Um, not that I'm telling your listeners to just like skip this one, but like, is it terrible? Is it kind of like if, if in English, I would probably notice if someone uses who rather than whom in the relevant context, because it's, yeah, you can kind of, you can kind of, okay. Most of the time Get you can use via. Yeah. All right. The next one is V. Okay. So I know, uh, wie viele kostet das? Wie viel kostet wie das? Ah, yeah, wie viel uh, kostet das? And also the other one I use a lot is like, wie sagt man das? Like, how oh, do you say that? Yes, wie sagt man das? That's one I use a lot. Yeah, exactly. Can you think of another one? Um, well, you say, how old are you, right? So. Yeah. How do you say I mean, that? I mean, I can't, everyone knows how to say that. It's like lesson, lesson one in German. Um, what is it? Just wie viel Jahre alt? alt? Wie alt? Wie alt ist du? Bist du? Oh damn it! Wow, we should do we should do more one on one. We've got to one on two. Check. Yeah. Wie alt bist du? Wie alt bist du? Wo? Uh, so you'd again one on one. Uh, like where are you from? So you would say like wo wohnst du or something along those lines. Yeah. Um, wo wohnst du? Exactly. Where do you live? Or wo ist du? Oder you know, wo bist du? I keep saying ist, don't I? Yeah, yeah, you have to conjugate the sign correctly and do bist, du. bist, wo bist du, exactly. Yeah, uh, yeah. Cool, and then we have wohin. Okay, this one meant... Where to. Where to. Where to, where, where will you go to or where do you go to? How would you say that? Do you say, do you say like wohin at the very beginning and yeah. then... Wohin gehst du? Okay. Oder wohin wirst du gehen? Wohin gehst du? Where wohin do you go to? Du? Yeah. And where do you come from? So, oh, so like not where do you come from, like but just kind of like where 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 do you come from would just you say right woher now? Woher kommst du? Ja, kommst du. Wer, woher, woher kommst du? Ja, woher kommst du? Korrekt? Nice. And then and then, well, we already had wie viel, it's like wie viel kostet das, yeah. we kind of have that already, uh, which is how much. And then the last one is wie oft. How often? Uh, so wie oft, what's the what's the common line? Like, how, do you come here often? Wie, no, <laughs> we would, wie oft no. kommst du hier? Do, do, do you want to do pickup lines in German next time? Yeah. That's probably a fun one to do as well. Is no. it? Let's, um, let, wie oft kochst du? How often do you cook? Viel. <laughs> well, actually, <laughs> das ist nicht so. <laughs> wie, wie oft kochst du? Um, wie oft? Exactly. Um, oder du könntest auch sagen, wie oft um, gehst du spazieren? Spazieren? Ja. Yeah. Which means? To kind of walk aimlessly, to go for a walk. <laughs> How often? <laughs> how, how often do you walk aimlessly? <laughs> well, well it's, it's spazieren gehen is like spazieren. it's just the it's just going for a walk for the sake of walking. That's like the German kind of. So would usage. you say ich spaz? Ich ich spaziere. Okay. Oder That's ich just... gehe spazieren. Okay. Yeah, you could you could do both. Well, those are all the question words that I wanted to go through quickly with you again. Was, warum, wann, wer, wen, wie, wo, wohin, woher, wie viel and wie oft. 
Thank you very much, guys, for listening and learning. Go to my website, expertlygerman.com. You will find that I have a course there, a beginner's course that I will launch on the 15th of June. And you can also book one-on-one -on -one lessons with me. Those spots are limited, so, you know, I can't accept everyone. But most of the time, I have some slots available. Thank you very much, guys. See you next time. <music>